Dancing on Point is an art form all ballerinas strive to perfect. Oh, wait a second, are those two guys? That's right, Le Ballet Trucadero de Monte Carlo proves that men too can dance on point. You hear about uh, that women are trying to do what men do, this is where you see men trying to do what women do. The ability to be agile and stand on your toes and to actually perform at this level is amazing. Le Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo is an all-male comedy ballet company. On stage you will see only male dancers, portraying also the you traditionally portrayed by female roles uh, such as Odette, the Queen of the Swans in uh, Swan Lake. This is the second year the Irving Art Center has hosted the show. The professional dancers perform an impressive repertoire of classical ballet with a comical twist. It is exceptional dancing above all, and that allows them to play and be very uh, comical with it. Uh, because I think once you know your craft really well, then you can make it funny, but still be extremely resilient to the craft. Before these dancers go on stage, they have to transform into their characters through a lengthy makeup session. We went backstage to get insight into the process. So one of their dancers has come in uh, the night before to give a preview of the makeup. So we're going to watch him get into drag for the drag portion. Most of the dancers play a male character and a female character, and they have incredible names for each of them uh, that are all very comically based. And, um, and so he is going to do a demonstration of getting into drag and doing the makeup and, um, and showing a select group of people here how that works and then getting into full costume. So I'm glad that you enjoyed yourself. Oh my God. The history of the trucks, as they are also known, dates back to 1974. When there was the, a lot of the gay liberation movement starring Stonewall riots, to name some, and um, a lot of theater was done in a parody form and in drag. And Le Ballet Trocadero de Monte Carlo is a spin-off of a company that was from there, from that period of time. The trucks are now a worldwide phenomenon Phenomenon, presenting a hilarious take on ballet classics. We always open with something like Swan Lake, a little bit more campy and slapstick, and we end the show with something that is more in an exaggeration of the style of the Russian ballet, the imperial Russian ballet. Le Ballet Trocadero brings a unique form of entertainment to the city while broadening our community. Well, I think it's always important to look at the diversity that we have within our community and see the different things that are available. I mean, we're fortunate to uh, be in a situation where we, we have the quality of a facility that we have so that they're wanting to come and perform here. It celebrates the diversity of our city. It celebrates the people who are here. It does it in a way that uh, is extremely studied and uh, professional and I just think it's an incredible way to open the door and say, you know, the Art Center is for all people. For anybody who wants to walk in the door, no matter who you think you are or who you want to be, you will find yourself here, you will find a place. Uh, you know, it's sort of our way of saying, you know, Irving, I see you. Organizers and the city hope the trucks make a graceful and hilarious return to the Irving Art Center next year. For About Town, this is Susan Stevens.